Ladies and gentlemen, all the ships at sea, it's your boy Big Nuke here. And this week, what I wanted to talk about is for you buyers and when you deal with certain types of housing and housing owners when you're out looking for a home. So this is kind of a tale and it kind of illustrates what really happens out there. And the type of seller that I'm talking about is a for sale by owner, also known as a FISBO. So this tale comes from a friend of mine. Uh, we were talking yesterday. And I thought I really should uh, talk to you guys about it. This friend was representing another friend, you know, pro bono, of course. And they were trying to buy a house for sale by owner. Well, doesn't always end the way we want it to, right? So all these for sale by owners are always saying, I don't need a real estate agent. I don't need anybody. I can do it all myself and save money. They don't really mean that. What they really mean is they want to have a real estate agent bring them a buyer. They don't want to pay any commission. They want the buyer to pay the commission if there is a commission. This case was pro bono. And then they want the real estate agent to do all the work because they're the experts. So here's how the tale goes. The uh, gentleman is a retired judge who's over 80 who lives out of state. Well, that's the first thing. Don't ever try to buy or sell a house for a lawyer because they're always looking for someone to, um, I don't know, sue. And then every step of the way, there are many technical steps in a real estate transaction. Some things are dictated by law even. So every time the agent would ask for something or the buyer would ask for something, he would go, can't your realtor do that? But these are things that are done on the seller side. Uh, first of all, the contract. So they present a standard contract and it was crazy stuff. This guy didn't want the broker named on the contract. For those of you who know how real estate works, real estate agents must be under a broker. Everybody who's represented is actually the client of the broker and the agent is a transactional agent. Even though you're self-employed, even though you had to spend the money to um, find a buyer, seller, whatever, everything still belongs to the broker. They're the ones who are responsible, the ones who are supervising you. So he didn't want that. He wanted to cross out. He disagreed with certain things in the contract. He wanted to scratch them out. And unfortunately, in Nevada law, a lawyer can do that. As a matter of fact, in Nevada, for those of you who don't know this, if you have passed the Nevada bar, you can practice real estate without ever going to real estate school. Kind of strange, huh? Because, you know, you're super smart because you went to law school. So everything that this they would ask for. Uh, so one of the things is we have this thing called the SRPD. It is actually driven by law. And it's to disclose everything that's wrong with the house that you know of. So it's like, can you send me the form? I have no idea how to, fill, how do I fill this out? That kind of stuff. Anyway, according to the law, the buyer has five days to review those forms. Well, you got to order them. He's like, well, how do I order these? Can't your agent take care of them? And the agent was actually going to do it. And I told him, like, no, don't do it. Because what can happen is you can create what's known as agency. So agency means I am working for you, which means you've created liability by providing anything to this retired judge who knows everything there is to know about a real estate transaction, who didn't know anything about the SRPD, who didn't know how to order his own homeowners association resale package, along with a bunch of other stuff. This is very typical. A lot of people who are trying to sell their house themselves, they don't know what they're doing. It's just like a monkey in, a, in the dark fiddling around. A lot of times, some of these fizzbos for sale by owners are up to no good. Well, I won't work with a real estate agent. Why? The only reason I can think of is they're planning to screw you. You need to come here by yourself. Uh, we'll do, I'll, we'll do this. I can write up this paperwork. I've done it a thousand times. You mean you've screwed people over a thousand times? For those of you who don't remember the case in California where the, uh, for sale by owner refused to leave the house after the deal was signed and had been paid. 
This stuff happens more often than you think. You do realize that one of the top reasons for lawsuits in this country involve real estate. Over 80% of those involve for sale by owners. They represent less than 10% of the sales in this country, yet represent 80% of the lawsuits. That should tell you something up front, especially those who don't want to deal with a real estate agent. It's not they're trying to save a commission. They're trying to do something nefarious, possibly. And some of them may just actually hate real estate agents. They had a bad experience. People have bad experiences. But I would question why they would do something like that. On top of that, we all know that for most real estate deals, there's some kind of commission involved. They're trying to get out of that commission and yet get full price for their home. Do you really want to give somebody full price for their home who is you're going to have a more difficult time with? Already by trying to sell by themselves, they've already proven themselves difficult, that they can do it all by themselves. Yet when time comes, everyone's fiddling around trying to figure out how to get the paperwork done. Everyone's fiddling around trying to figure out how to get the loan paperwork properly processed, go through the title and escrow process and everything else that's needed. Now I'm saying some people can do this. They are wired to do it. They'll go and they'll do their research. But I like to put it this way. The largest for sale by owner website in the country, the owner has never sold a house by himself. He has used an agent every single time. Well, doesn't that mean if he's used an agent every single time, but he uh, writes these books about selling your house yourself, hat, runs a major website. Why? Could it be he's just writing books? I like to put it this way. <sighs> I remember when I was still on active duty. Actually, it was right after I retired. I went to a uh, baby shower kind of thing for a guy. I'd, I'd still been on uh, terminal leave, I believe, or maybe right after terminal leave. And I'd never met this guy's wife before we finally met and we talked a while. She was a writer for Kiplinger's magazine. And I was like, wow, that's so exciting. And we were we just kept talking. And I was like, well, how do you get all the stuff for the articles you write? It was basically, she just goes, reads a bunch of stuff on it, does a little bit of research, talks to a couple of people, writes an article. Now she's a expert. That's what some of these for sale by owners are doing. They're becoming experts by reading a book and thinking they're going to save whatever percentage that they would uh, have to incur working with a real estate agent. And some of them really know what they're doing. All they're really doing is looking for someone to bring a deal and say, I'll pay you, you know, a couple percent, then go like, well, can't you do the rest of this? You're the professional. That's the majority of them. As a matter of fact, when you look at the numbers, the average for sale by owner ends up selling for less than houses sold with a real estate agent. Now, I keep running across people who are saying, I can sell it by myself. I'm the expert. I know everything. Yet, over 90% of them end up using a real estate agent. So, I don't know what their motivation is, but is it really to save money? If you're going to go to a for sale by owner and you got to do everything yourself, are you going to pay them full price? I don't think most people would. And that's my two cents. And what I really would like to do, if you have not subscribed to our channel, I would really enjoy it if you could hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, and I'll do whatever I can to help you guys out. Thanks a lot.